welcome to another edition of Upstream on Trusted.tv. As usual, we've got a mixed bag for you today with some live lockdown performances, some cracking new videos. We've got a trailer and we've got an interview, but we're going to kick off with an artist who's been on the show several times already. It's the amazing Georgia and the Vintage Youth. Just keep on churning out such great singles. This is another one. It's a video for Georgia and the Vintage Youth and the song is called Colorblind. called Paul of a new name to me but very pleased to have him on the show with a fantastic video and songs there's a band called Paul and the song is called Slow Train. Yeah. 
particularly grateful to my good friends at Talon Bank for this edition because not only have we had the new video from Georgia introduced which you've already seen we've also got this live lockdown performance of the amazing Liverpudlian singer-songwriter Joe Slater singing a song called Lonely. Brothers and sisters greetings hope all is cool my name is Joe Slater Mr Joe Slater at that and um, yeah thanks Jody for very much for having me and um, I'm going to sing a song now. This is an old song. Uh, this is a song called Lonely. I don't know why I'm singing this. I'm, I'm feeling a bit nostalgic. I'm here in my nan's house. This is my old bedroom in my nan's house. And every song I've ever written was wrote staring out this window at that magnificent view of Croxton in Liverpool. So, um, yeah, so I thought I'd just do an old song. Why not? There is a piano here. But I can't. You know, turn it around to the show here because it's going to lose the balance. But anyway, thank you very much. And uh, this is a song called Lonely. It's been 
ain't happening for so long What you done about it? Have you done a thing? It's up to us to make a change now Cause life is precious And too short to waste Oh, I got all these questions Tell me where's the answer Don't get the complication Just the work gets on Gets a lot colder Before you know you're not late Oh, I've been lonely And I've been tired But I keep fighting for you Oh, it I've been lonely And I've been trying But I keep fighting For you Time to time it gets me thinking But when I'm drinking Is the world insane? Oh, I can't we just spread the Put nothing above us And all in this way Ooh, I got all these questions Tell me where's the answer Don't get the complication Just the work gets on it Gets a lot colder For you know what you're not here And I've been lonely And I've been trying But I keep fighting For you Oh, it I've been lonely when I've been trying, I keep fighting for you. Thanks. Whoa. I'm very pleased to have the awkward silences on this show. I should have a qualify this track by just pointing out that we don't actually think that all self-made men or indeed women are obnoxious but I guess we know where the awkward silences are coming from not pulling any punches in a song which is primarily about poverty this is the awkward silences and there's nothing more obnoxious than a self-made man Survive. 
people you dismiss as lazy worth the shit You could do much better if they tried Of course, we know you did it on your own You stick in a conversation every time you can You was out of point of history, they offered opportunities There's nothing more obnoxious than a self-made man All the biography is written by the winners We all want to know As well as having appeared on this show before, Albertina, a band with quite a history and a lot of uh, airplay on BBC Six Music over the years. They also appeared at the inaugural Fresh in the Net Live, which I had the uh, pleasure and privilege of curating for the team back in 2019. And they will be appearing at it again, I believe, in 2021. This so is a trailer for their new album called Loenva. This is Albertina. to have the amazing guitarist and writer Yago Bane on the show back with a new video and a new track. This is her Sunset Wine 2. Thank you. 
Hanya White is an artist who has been wowing the independent music community just lately with thoroughly original, unique music that mixes the playful with the dystopian. She's had a video on the show before, and now here's another one in time for a new EP which comes out on the 23rd of February, which is called No Preview. This is Hanya White and the video for Be My Friend. <laughs> two days time on Thursday the 18th of February it will be the fourth edition of the weekly series the music diary of Sparkly Spooky on the Trusted Oc TV channel if you haven't already seen it though here's a chance to see episode three which went live last Thursday I learned everything the hard way yes I did you can't wait to be discovered you just can't 
you just can't life goes on life goes on and you got to discover yourself you know you've got to invest in yourself you gotta put yourself out there and do it for you independently nobody's gonna save you nobody's gonna think wow not without your consent anyway and um, you know no one's just gonna go okay snap you up and make that life story happen you know that that everything fantasy that we all have you know growing up we watch telly and we I don't know we take ourselves off this we model ourselves off these idols and we like hey I'm gonna be like them it's gonna be easy I'm gonna I'm gonna be like them I think a fate must is gonna be it's gonna be a walk in the park and the piece of cake and all that and then realize later it's just not and no one's gonna recognize you unless you put yourself out there. You think they gotta, they're gonna know who you are. They gotta hear you. Um, no one's gonna just say, oh, I found you. It's like hide and seek. No, no, it's not. It doesn't work like that. Um, if you wait to get signed, you wait a lifetime. Yeah, you're waiting forever and you may never get the chance. You may never get heard. Music is a business and you have to invest in yourself. The universe only helps us when we meet it halfway and help ourselves. The rest has got to be done by us. It's just the way it is. To remember, all celebrities at some point or still are independent artists. They all started out as where we are today, stepping our feet into the mainstream. And we want to get there into that big pool, that mainstream. Um, upstream, basically. Um, yeah, but they all started out the same way and they still got there. So I know it's doable, it's doable. Waiting around for inspiration to strike. Wow, I know that ain't the way to live, ever. Um, you know, you have to create your own inspiration. And where does it come from? Well, well, I know you can just go for a walk one day or look through some old photographs, that helps. I'm doodling on paper. Um, even create a creative block from your writer's block. Now ideas will come in if you focus on that rather than focus on why it's not happening in that jar. <sighs> that picture looked a whole lot different later on in my story. Um, because there was a lot of work to be done, nothing really comes easily. Um, yeah, it's entirely... You've got to give yourself a chance to go on that journey in life and get knocked down a few times, get ruffled up. Yeah, um, nothing comes easily, not too quickly. Nothing happens overnight. Those setbacks, oh, too many setbacks, almost gave up. Um, it then gave me a chance to evolve, um, pick up some new genres on the way learn things so I can help other people so when they start in art I know the do's and don'ts about the music industry. Well I first got to know the amazing uh, Serbian pianist and composer Marina Vesic when she appeared on a triple compilation album I released on Demerara Records back in 2015 called This Is Tomorrow Calling. Marina is a very versatile composer and performer who flits between popular music, electronic music and classical music. She had a video on here recently which was more in traditional singer-songwriter role but her latest one is a little bit more down the kind of contemporary classical slash ambient music uh, route and and uh, very good it is too. You'll be seeing the video for that fairly shortly. But first of all, I caught up with Marina, currently residing in Vienna, for this interview. Well, I'm very pleased to welcome onto the show uh, Marina Vesic, aka Black Marine. Marina, welcome to Upstream on Trustedoc TV. Hello, Neil, and thank you very much. It's uh, my pleasure to be in your show. Well, it's lovely to be able to talk to you and actually see each other because we've known each other for what about six years now um but but usually talking on email <laughs> so yes and the organizing the uh, stuff etc yeah yeah actually we we, we started with uh, with your label the mirror records back then it was a huge success it still it still it is i remember yeah, it was the album, This Is Tomorrow Calling, and you were on it. And I, I was going to talk about that, because one of the things I think that's interesting about you is the fact that you 
um, like me, I suppose, and a lot of artists I know, you 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 kind of work in a lot of different areas of music, which is which is interesting. So before we get to that, though, now um, for for people watching this, the program who don't know Marina, she's actually from Serbia, but you've been living in Vienna now for six years. Yes, actually, uh, 2011 was uh, when I started my uh, education in electronic music, but uh, permanently. Yes. Okay, brilliant. So I'm, brilliant. I'm now uh, I'm uh, uh, recording this from uh, Vienna. Yeah, and you would have been coming over to play in London had it not been for lockdown last year. Well, yes, uh, actually, last year I started the concert series with a musician uh, Morgan King from Manilovich Band and we started in January as we said last year in Vienna and uh, of course we had we have a plan for our EP that's uh, music for piano and voice his songs in my arrangement and then uh, as soon as we started to make uh, plans and uh, how where when and then in uh, March we got this news and here we are. Yeah, March March 2020 is a month that most people in music are never going to forget. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, here was 16 March. Indiana was 16 March. Yeah, it was about that here around about the 16th. Yeah, because I actually promoted my last gig prior to lockdown on the 13th. And then a few days later, I had to cancel everything. And um, I yeah anyway so we're not talking about me we're talking about you so um I want to talk about your music because obviously i know you initially as being a, a contemporary classical composer and pianist um and the first track that i heard by you probably was the one that i put out um on demerara records which was very much in that that vein um the last video which you had on this show was more in singer songwriter territory and then the new one is more kind of ambient kind of stuff, isn't it? So uh, you're deliberately mixing it up a bit, I think, <laughs> with the music. Well, yes, I, I have never been uh, one genre, actually. I am uh, um, in all area. As I said, I am an artist with uh, an open mind. And uh, yes, uh, as I recall, uh, you published my uh, contemporary piece, uh, Walking in the Air, I think it was for string uh, uh, quintet and soprano or quartet, something like that, can't remember, it was a long time. But it, it, was. Was, uh, it, was, a, it was a great thing uh, back then, it was uh, six years ago. It was a it fantastic was piece, and you're right, it did have strings and a soprano on it, and uh, it was an amazing piece, very harmonically, very challenging and tempestuous I think yeah thank you and then um, I was um, actually I, I am always interested to do something new something that you're challenging me as an artist so the the last video and the video that you're going to to see today red tears uh, it's actually uh, I'm playing violin there oh really I didn't know you so, played uh, the sound of violin it's me uh, I mean, violin is here. <laughs> I'm not a violinist, but I play, for example, violin and the bass guitar just uh, in experimental way. And uh, I do electronics. So uh, actually that piece um, that you mentioned, um, uh, it's, it's more like uh, my personal reflection in, in the moment. And uh, then I also started to do uh, a visual as well. So then um, I got a very uh, interesting uh, feedback. Yeah, the video is quite striking, isn't it? The colors and the, the imagery and everything. Um, <clears throat> it, what, what's the inspiration behind Red Tears? Well, there are actually, I think, in my subconsciousness, a lot of things because I'm uh, finishing my uh, doctorate studies and, do, and I did interviews with lots of uh, uh, female composers that mainly live uh, in America and uh, also uh, I follow Marina Abramovic who is an artist, someone who is a pioneer in, uh, in performance art. So maybe it's, it's a mixture of, of 
of everything because it's it's going on for a long time and now my PhD is uh, almost at the end, actually this year. So I think there are um, there are lots of uh, a lot of influences, probably unconsciousness, but um, I actually decided to go out to my comfort zone. I actually decided to do everything what I still haven't done yet. That's and uh, yeah. some, kind, some kind, I think uh, it's uh, it's the right moment to go. Well, it's very brave coming out of your comfort zone, particularly now with everything going on. But uh, yeah. um, <clears throat> can I congratulate you in advance on the PhD? Because I've no doubt you'll pass first time. So, uh, so that's brilliant. Um, what are the plans now? Are you looking to release an album or anything, or are you just going to keep um, putting tracks out and testing testing the water, as it were? Well, uh, actually, since the last year, I uh, not started, but I started to continue writing lyrics and songwriting uh, in uh, my own style, in avant-garde, experimental way. So. Um, actually, I am going to work on on the songs that I that I wrote to finish the music for them, uh, and uh, see what what the future will bring. So um, currently, mainly it's it's the music, and I must say I am very happy that I work on the Patreon, and there are people who are following me, and actually here is my working space. So I I always record from here for, for them for the exclusive music videos. So in this time, I think it's a good, um, it's a very good thing actually at the moment. And just so in, in case people do want to go on there and, and follow you, what's the, um, what's the Patreon address if they want to look, put that in? Yes, Patreon is uh, Black Marine. So Patreon? Dot com or Black Marine. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Okay, brilliant. So Black Marine is a bit they they need to add, which is also your artist name. Cool. Yes, yeah, because Black Marine is my uh, performing name, and uh, Marina Vesic is uh, more uh, a composer. Yeah, it's going to say because I've always known your Twitter address as being Black Marine too, going right back to when I first knew you. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, Given that uh, obviously we don't know when lockdown will finish, but when at some point the restrictions are eased, um, you planning to get out and start playing live? Yes, yes. Uh, I have joined the music collective Obiman uh, last year, but officially um, this year. And um, the idea is that uh, I continue working in this uh, ambient music. Uh, in Berlin and uh, also to be in London. So those are some uh, fixed places for, for work as soon as uh, lockdown is, as soon as lockdown is a little bit under control or or that we can travel and, and, and work. So but, uh, we... I need to mention, I, I need to mention that uh, uh, at the beginning, you 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 were talking about the classical composition and uh, as a composer, uh, my um, contemporary uh, solo songs are going to be performed on, if I'm not wrong, uh, 13 June in New York, and the uh, ensemble composer Concordance are going to perform them. Oh wow! So actually, that that's also, I mean, that's my wish. If if it if it would be possible to travel, then I would. I would be there and I would play piano, but so far they're going to perform my pieces. So that's actually something also uh, what what they can wait for. Well, let's keep fingers and everything crossed for you that you manage to get to New York because it'd be wonderful if you get to play piano at the performance, wouldn't it? That'd be amazing. Yes, but as you know, uh, as we, we know each other for so long, and uh, I actually had uh, um, scheduled my concert for, for last year in London and I couldn't come because of the situation, right? But uh, that was my huge wish. And um, well, I hope that it will be again when, when this is over or a little bit better at least. 
Well, I hope so too, because obviously if you do make it to London, I'm very much hoping that we get you to come and play Vanishing Point at Amp Studios. So that'd be amazing to actually have you playing one of our gigs. Yes, uh, it would be my pleasure. I mean, I I was always interested to, to be there in your team. Yeah, it'd be amazing. Yeah. Well, Maureen, it's been lovely talking to you. Thanks ever so much for doing the interview. And just leaves me really to say good luck with everything and let's hope that you don't have to wait too long to be able to get out there and tour and everything else. Well, thank you so much. And um, I really hope that uh, things are going to be better. And uh, until then, I think we all artists just need to stay strong and uh, to work on all our, our ideas that we have. And uh, nothing is like... Uh, too too bad as long as as we are here right yeah definitely I totally agree with that well marina thanks ever so much thank you tony and here then is the video for black marine and red tears Well, the trusted are another new name to me, but as you'll see from this fantastic live performance, they're really very good indeed. This is a trusted performing live and the song is called Criminals. Me 
steal your wasted time. Pulled out the splinters to stop you crying. Pop music or organized crime. I'm hooked on you, why can it all be mine? Ooh, deconstruct the dice Then pay the lover's price I want to take off some sweetheart So you look at me like I you're a criminal And we're a complicated miracle No, I'm your criminal Lonely in this end Driving my pain head to the ground So you look at me like I'm your criminal And we're a complicated miracle Well, I'm always pleased to have my good friend Carla Jane Duffy, aka Pixie Inc., on the show. She's performed live for me probably more times than most other artists over the last few years for both Vanishing Point and for Trust the Doc Live. Uh, she's had video on the show before, uh, performing with Krapka Coma from uh, Ukraine, but this is Pixie Inc. solo with a rather unusual version of the Tears for Fears classic, Everybody Wants to Rule the World. Welcome to your life There's no turning back It's my own 
Shane McCord is another new name to me, but very pleased to have him on the show with a video for a song called Sleeper.
Well, I'm very pleased to have the excellent We Are Aerials on the show with an animated video, no less. This is We Are Aerials, and the song is called Veneer. <laughs> darkness for you here steer clear this is but a thin veneer but we're so mired in these things sick and tired of these things if I believed such things That's where you're growing wings So sleep For we are only flickering light Really we are only waiting to take flight Oh sweet bird Sweetest one Dearest of kings That's where you're growing wings Where you're growing wings When he's not doing the graphics for this show, uh, Luke Moore is one of the hardest working musicians I know. Central to uh, all his various activities is his long running band Operation Lightfoot, performing here with Dorothy Bird, who is a regular singer and who has also been on this show as a solo artist. This is a wonderful Operation Lightfoot, and the track is called Trans Siberian. <laughs> that I 
folks we come to the end of another edition of upstream on trusted.tv just leaves me to say thanks ever so much for watching the show and for supporting all the stuff that we're trying to do here to give exposure to new and emerging artists we'll be back again on the 2nd of march with edition 20 in the meantime take care everybody stay safe and we'll see you in two weeks time